good evening traders from lovely Las Vegas. My name is Oscar Carboni and I'm a 29-year veteran analyst and trader and insider from Wall Street who worked down in the pits right where it all happens. And I'm here to teach you the art of calling tomorrow's numbers today. How to figure out where the market will go tomorrow today. The only thing is this, the networks want me to sit at this desk and do a news show and that's not my style. So I'm going to do this. You know what networks? I'm sorry. I'm going to teach these people the way they ought to learn. I'm going to keep it simple. Traders, follow me on a journey. I'm going to take you to a whiteboard and show this to you like a teacher would do in high school. Follow me, traders. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, traders from around the world, and especially you traders here from lovely Las Vegas. My name is Oscar Carboni. Traders, you're going to learn something fantastic from me if you watch these series of videos I'm going to put before you. What we have going on here is I am a fundamental and technical analyst that I've been on the trading floors back in New York City since I'm 18 years old. I have tricks and techniques that us insiders know, and I'm going to share them with you over the next few weeks in our video. As you may know, futures, stock, ETF, anything that you want to trade is extremely risky, can cause substantial financial loss, not suitable for every trading account, but for you traders that pay attention to technical analysis, you're going to absolutely love what we have to teach you in these videos. Now, traders, again, I started on the trading floors back in 1982. I have been doing this my entire life. I am one of the best technical analysts you will ever meet, and I am here to teach you the insider tips from Wall Street that are going to help you become a much better analyst. Traders, I have right now on YouTube 729 videos for you to learn from, but this video happens to be the number one episode for the TV series here right in Las Vegas. Traders, I am accessible. I am here in Vegas. I hold live classes here at the at this trading school, the Omni Trading Academy. I also have a website where you will find me live on live webcam and on microphone. So if you would like to join me after watching this lesson that you are going to see, I am there. I offer free trading room memberships. I will give free advice. I'm telling you, don't trade alone. Watch what comes your way in this video in the next few moments. I am going to do another show every Sunday morning on my LV TV at 11.30 a.m. And in those shows, again, I am more than willing to open up the doors to you and show you the insider techniques and the tricks that we use right down on Wall Street to help us gauge where the market is going next. With that in mind, what you might find on my board right behind me, I have a small illustration, and I have the swing day formation. What that is, traders, it is a swing day. I'm going to get to, you, to that for you in just a moment. I want you to just look at that formation for a moment. You'll recognize that there's a bar, or there could have been a series of bars. The market's moving higher. Call them candlesticks, call them bars, whatever you like to chart. As the market moves higher, a certain formation will form on a one-day bar. That bar will almost absolutely tell you what will happen tomorrow. That is the swing day formation, traders. That's one of the first lessons I will offer to you tonight in this video, or I should say this morning in this video, because it's 11.30 a.m., and you can look for these on your charts this afternoon and see if you can spot them to trade Sunday evening into Monday. So I will try to really illustrate what this is and how to use it. Again, traders, I want you to understand something. You are learning from a guy that has tens of thousands of followers around the world, millions and millions of hits on my YouTube, tens and tens of millions of hits at my site. I have fans and followers all over the world. I have been invited and constantly get invited on CNBC, on Fox. I've been with Neil Cavuto. I've been with Maria Bartiromo. I've been with many, many of the stars that you see on TV. What do they want me for? They call me for my opinion, traders, because my technical opinion is probably better than anyone you will ever see out there, and I am going to teach you how to use these techniques. So with no further ado, I'm going to show you something right now that I think you will find quite interesting. This just happened on Monday. I am talking the beginning of this week, the beginning of May on Monday, 
we had a swing day in the DAX, in the S&P, in many, many of our U.S. indices and world indices. And let me explain what that is. And, of course, I will then present some charts for you, and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. So there is a situation where the market's moving higher. It might be going up, 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 up for a few days. And then finally you have a bar the next day, the swing day, the very important thing that I want to show you. This is a great formation. It will help you just about every time you recognize it on your charts. I assure you that if you trade this the way I'm about to teach you, you will find that it has a, an extremely high probability of putting you on the right side of the markets. So you have your market moving higher. Then it puts in some sort of a day like this. It's moving up. It opens. It rallies. It settles. The next day, it opens up and puts in a really high run up, or a tail, if you will. Comes back down and settles by its low. That, my friends, is your swing day. With that, this is exactly how you would trade this. On the very next day, now that you've settled right here, the swing day states when the market opens the next day, if it rallies up and gets just about to the highs of the day before the swing day, you sell right into this. And you expect the market to drop down, straight down, making this swing day formation valid. So you see this right here, and maybe or maybe not you're understanding that. For you technical analysts, I think you will understand what's coming next, because in each and every one of my 729 other videos, I put charts up on the board after I show a technique and explain to you exactly how to use it. So here's what I want you to do. I don't care if you are someone who's been trading for 25 years or for just two months. If you look at technical analysis, this will absolutely help you, traders. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to show you some charts that will absolutely illustrate this to you. So with no further ado, let's go look at a couple of charts. Okay, traders, the swing day video. This happened on Monday, the first Monday in May. I put a series of charts in front of my analyst fans and my Omniacs who come to my trading site every day. And I said to them, traders, look, very simple technique. All of you know about this technique, but I am going to do a refresher course. That was for my Omniacs. For you new traders here out of Vegas, I want you to see this technique because it's wonderful. Here we are, the DAX daily bar. Each one of these green bars represents one day's worth of trading. As you can see, that very same illustration I had on the board a moment ago is this. We had the market moving up, we had this day, and then the all-important swing day. The market rallied up, 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 turned around and came back and settled by its lows, rendering this the swing day. Here is how you trade this. On the very next day, this is exactly what we would expect the next day. The market will open and rally just about to the high of the day before. This high. Right when you reach that high, you want to sell it and expect the drop. Traders, look what happened. Right here, this is what we'd expect, right? So we expect this and this. This gives you a swing day, one, two. This would be the bar in question. What should happen next? Now that you know this exists, what should happen next? Traders, what should happen next is you should get a bar that looks exactly like this the next day, right inside this box. And if you'll allow me, take a look at this. This is exactly what happened the next day. Look at that swing day technique work. Traders, that is just picture perfect. Here was the illustration of what we thought would happen, and this is exactly what happened. The swing day formation works really well. Learn it and live it for you traders here in Vegas. Now I want to show you one more chart in this segment. Right here is the June E-mini S&P. It is the exact same June E-mini S&P that all of us love to trade every day. What happened? You had a swing day. The market dropped lower and lower and went all the way down to here. Look at the end result after the swing day. Traders, swing days work. Learn them and live them. The swing day formation. So, traders, you've seen the swing day formation. 
I kid you not, I am 29 years deep in this business. That is a formation that will work for you almost every time you see it. When you do see the swing day and you want to react to it, you take the swing day every time it shows up on your charts and you will find absolute consistency. Now, traders, here's an interesting thing. I started in this business in 1982 before there were any computer programs that would help me watch the markets in this fashion. So everything that I did was on paper and pencil, and I learned in this business that you can do this on paper and pencil. So it was a very difficult task in the first couple of years of my career. A lot, a lot of hours spent with pencil and paper and tape and glue trying to keep my charts together. Then an invention comes up by Equus International, and it's called Metastock, and I'm going to give them a round of applause. Metastock was a program that would put these charts on paper or on the screen for me instead of me writing them down. And suddenly, instead of holding this big flap of paper in my pocket while I was trading in the pits all day, I was able to jump out of the pit, run to a computer, and look at a chart. It's called Metastock. Now, here's what happened. Metastock comes out with the computer program. I come to the trading floor with a, with a computer, and the whole world looks at me. They all gather around me like it's this big marvel. Wow, look at it with a computer. And I brought the computer to the floor. Remember, we're talking the 80s now. No one had computers. I bring the computer to the floor, and I present the floor, and all my floor trading fans and friends and all the members that are in the pits, and I show them this crazy program called Metastock. I have been using Metastock ever since I was 18 years old. I have been from Ensign Graphics to Trade Station to everything in between. I've done beta testing for most of these companies in the last 20, 25 years. I have stayed with Metastock the entire time. Traders, I can call tomorrow's numbers today in the markets almost every day. I am quite unique. One of the best things I can tell you, if you would like to be able to call numbers that way yourselves, First of all, follow these techniques. Second of all, learn to use Metastock. Here's a commercial from Metastock right now. I think you will love this program. Making money in the markets is not an easy thing to do. That's why I chose Metastock, the award-winning analysis and data package. Metastock uses technical analysis, good, solid information. Not just hunches or guesses. This helps me make better trading decisions. I find the best trades, and I can decide when to buy and when to sell. With Metastock, I trade more confidently. And that's helped me be more successful. Go to metastock.com slash TG7 right now to get your free 30-day trial of Metastock software. I love Metastock. This is no infomercial. This is a real guy from Wall Street, a real Wall Street insider that is showing you a fantastic technique that will help you trade. You know who those Wall Street insiders come up with a recommendation and they turn out to be right and they look like gurus? Well, let me tell you something right now. They don't have these crazy secrets that you don't know about. They do not have the golden goose, the holy grail. They have techniques like this that I teach them all the time, and I kid you not, these techniques work. Now, again, I want to make sure that you understand that the swing day brought us down in the stock market. But what I want you to really recognize is this. Do not fall in love with the downside of the S&P pullback, the stock market pullback. In the next chart segment, I am going to show you why going forward this month, May into June, you probably want to look at buying the dips in the S&P. You should not be expecting a crash. You should not get fooled by what you hear on the street and think that the markets are getting ready for a big turn down. They are not, traders. The markets are going to head right back up. In fact, the Omni Trading Academy gave out a projection in the beginning of this year right on Neil Cavuto's show live in front of millions of people around the world. The S&P is going to trade as high as 1650. What's unique about me making this call, and it might sound far-fetched right now with the S&P trading at 1320, 1340, but there's this. I was able to successfully, using the techniques that you will learn in the next 10 to 12 weeks in my series here on my LVTV, I'm going to show you how I absolutely called the top of the stock market for 2007, where we hit the exact number. I had it on my board just like this. The stock market cracked right after hitting our number, and the whole world went, wow, Oscar, how did you do that? 
Oh, I am telling you that I can do this all the time, and you can too. I am going to teach you how to do this, and it will cost you nothing. Traders, this show will cost you nothing because these techniques are real, and I'm here to give them out on television. If you come to my side, the trading rooms will cost you nothing. The advice will cost you nothing. I am here to help as many as I can learn the tricks and techniques from Wall Street insiders. Because let's face it, traders. I have seen a lot of you literally get your heads handed to you in the last two, three years, and I want to teach you how to manage your own money, how to call the markets correctly the next day, and I promise you that I can teach you to do that. Traders, I'm going to show you some charts in just a few moments that will now take us forward. I showed you what happened in the beginning of May, just the last five days before this, right? We called for a swing day drop. We did that in a YouTube video. You can check the YouTube video date. It was 5-3 this month. Go to the video if you want my YouTube spot. Check the video date for 5-3, and you'll see first we call for downside, right? So here we are going forward now. I want to show you why you should not fall in love with the downside. Once again, traders, I'd like to show you a quick commercial for my, for my friends from Metastock because they are fantastic. After that, I'm going to take you on a journey of where we are going next week. I want you to watch this video because you will look at your charts and you will say, Wow, Oscar, you were right when you filmed that video and said it was going to go higher. By the time we watched it, you were absolutely right. I know that's what you're going to say. That's how much I believe in technical analysis. Traders, Technical analysis is the roadmap to forecasting future market price, and Metastock is about the best way I've ever learned to do that forecasting. Take a look at this. Making money in the markets is not an easy thing to do. That's why I ordered this free book and demonstration disc from Metastock. Metastock uses technical analysis, good solid information. Not just hunches or guesses. This helps me make better trading decisions. I find the best trades and I can decide when to buy and when to sell. With Metastock, I trade more confidently. And that's helped me be more successful. Go to metastock.com slash TG8 right now for Metastock's free demonstration disc and a free book on trading strategies. So traders, that commercial is for a program. As I've said, I use this program myself every single day I have since I'm 18. So get that program, get Metastock. It's fantastic. Now, where are we going next? Traders, this video, because it's television, I have to film it today, and then you're not going to see it for a few days later. That gives me time to forecast where the market should go by the time you watch the video. That makes me a magician, right? But let's go. Let's talk about this. What I want you to recognize is do not fall in love with the downside. Why would I say that? Do not fall in love with the downside. Traders, I'm going to show you some charts right now that should make you realize about based on what you've seen here. It made its projection. It made a good call. Now the market should go higher. And why? When I slap a chart on the wall like this and I show you this chart, what do you think? Support is the first thing that you're supposed to think when you see this. And why? Traders, world indice leader, the Russell 2000, U.S. indice leader, no doubt. Daily bar chart. As you can see, it also had a swing day on that very same day, and the market came down. But now it has come down to a parallel channel support area. Support, support, support. It's resistance whenever it gets up to it. It becomes support when it gets down to it. The markets have found support as of Friday, and I think now we start to head right back up in the S&P, in the Russell, in the DAX, in the transportation average. Look at the DAX traders, a wonderful chart you have before your eyes right now. Here we had that swing day. It's the very same swing day I just illustrated for you a moment ago. The market broke down, but what did it get down to? Right down to support. And what did it do on Friday? Bounced off the support and ended up here. The world indices are gaining support. I would not fall in love with the downside. Now, just to show you another technique while the chart's before your eyes, traders, and we're going to cover this technique in detail as the next weeks go by. These three circles are considered an inverted head and shoulders. When you see an inverted head and shoulders, they give a specific projection. Our projection was for right here where you see the circle. 
Okay? The market breaks out of the inverted head and shoulders. It goes right to the spot, traders, right to the number. Turns around and puts a swing day in, which then gives us another projection for the downside. Now the swing day is complete and we're on support. These are all technical analysis techniques that work really well. But I want you to recognize that the world leader out of Europe has hit support already, and that happened on Friday. Now, the Dow Jones Transportation Average has a wonderful support line down here as well. But look at this. It's called a bull flag. For you traders out there that are a little bit experienced with technical analysis, you'll recognize that this is usually a formation that we expect the market to move higher on. So what has happened? We've come right down near support in the transportation average, and we've started to rally with a bull flag. Do not fall in love with the downside of the recent move you've seen in May. Now let's go around the world a little bit. The Nikkei, look at the Nikkei. It's got a wonderful support channel, and it bounced off the support on Friday, as did other world indices. you got to love the support that's coming in, traders. Don't forget, we're in a big, booming bull market right now, especially in the U.S., and you would expect that after a pullback, the big, booming S&P market moves higher. Now we're looking at the Hang Seng Index out of Hong Kong. A major support line comes back from a year ago, as well as this red parallel channel. And what has happened? The Hang Seng on a weekly bar has come right down to support. We expect that to hold as well. That takes us to our E-mini S&P, the one everyone in this country loves to trade. Here's why I'm trying to reassure you that you should not fall in love with the downside technically. Look at the support right here in the E-mini S&P, another channel. You've seen the leaders hit their channels and bounce. Well, the follower, being the E-mini S&P, has not hit the channel yet, but it's already beginning to bounce. That tells us that by the time you watch this video, we should have moved from the 1300 area in the S&P back up to like the 1340, 1350 area. That's what I would expect by the time you are watching this video. Traders, these techniques are fantastic. You are learning them from somebody who can make them simple for you and absolutely show you the proper way to use them. So please look for these techniques. Look for your parallel channels. Look for your flags. Certainly look for your swing days. And I will be more than happy to teach you these techniques as the weeks go by. Traders, E-mini S&P will find support this week and start moving higher. Traders, we're back. I just wanted to make sure that you are clear on your swing day technique. Now, traders, remember, I've reiterated this already. I am a guy who's been doing this for 29 years down on Wall Street. I'm a Wall Street insider. This technique work, works really, really well. Now, let me illustrate once again. You're in a market that's been moving higher, higher. It looks like a bull market. Suddenly it puts in a really high day and comes back down and settles by its lows. That's the key. What do you do the next day? You wait for the market to open and you wait for it to get just about as high as the high of the day before the swing day. Right there. That's where you sell this day and expect a big drop. Then you expect one, two days after that to continue on. That's how you use the swing day formation. I really hope this technique helps you. Traders, I had a host of Omniacs this week. Had a great week because they used that technique on a Monday afternoon. As I explained in my YouTube video, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, we came smashing down. It was perfect. Now, you've seen what I'm expecting coming this week, the week that you'll be watching this video. Do not fall in love with this downside. Do not do it. Traders, no matter what happens, I want you to recognize that we are in a bull market and we will continue to move higher this year. Bull markets have pullbacks. Pullbacks give signals. These techniques tell you when those pullbacks need to be purchased and or sold. I'm here to tell you now, do not fall in love with the downside because that series of charts I just showed you are telling me that we technically will move higher. 
Now, traders, come the next few weeks ahead, I'm going to show you technique after technique after technique that has been tried and proven by me personally over the last 29 years and proven in front of tens of thousands of Omniacs that follow me every single day. They follow every wiggle I put up on this board. They listen to my recommendations. They learn from my mentoring. And I am here to welcome you to come on to my site. It's LogWithOscar.com and allow me to teach you as well. Traders in Vegas, I know many of you are gamblers, right? What I am here to say today in this video is if you follow me for the next few weeks and I'm going to be putting these TV shows out for you, I'm going to show you how to take the odds right out of the casino's hands and put them in your own. You know, when you go to the casino and you gamble and you lose and you go again and you gamble and you lose and you feel like there's just no way to win? Well, you know what? 99% of you are correct when that's what you think. But what I'm going to show you is how to turn the odds in your favor when you trade the markets. You are going to be the house. You are going to learn to make money and smart trades in the markets. These techniques I am showing you work for stocks, ETFs, bonds, commodities, the futures, you name it. These techniques work, especially the techniques I'm going to show you over the next few weeks. Make sure you tune into my videos. Make sure you come join me live at my site. For you traders that are here in Vegas, if you'd like to come visit me right in my office, or come down to this show and get an interview, and I'll sit down on a chair next to you, and we'll, we'll have a nice conversation. You can give me a call, 702-629-4755. I'll be more than happy to have some Vegas locals on my show. All right, traders, this is the first episode of Fort Vegas, my LV TV. I hope these episodes teach you how to be a better trader, how to be a better analyst, and I hope you join me at my site, Live with Oscar, where I can show you once again for free, free trading room, free advice. I am there to help you. I'd like to show you that absolutely technical analysis is the roadmap to future price forecasting. Traders, Fundamentals always come out in the charts first. That is what you will learn from me. Another thing that I want you to recognize and remember at all times is this. A stop is your best friend in this industry. You should never, ever trade without stops. In fact, you should always put your stop in first. These techniques are good. Nothing's 100%. Nothing at all in technical analysis is 100%. Always put your protective stop orders in first. But traders, I invite you to come visit with me every Sunday morning at 11.30 a.m. on my LV TV, where I will have a brand new episode for you with new techniques, with new tips, with me pointing you in the proper direction that the market should go in. Once again, traders, I hope these videos and these classes that you are going to watch here in Vegas will help you tremendously with your trading. I think that's about all I want to present to you in this video because I don't want it to go too far and I don't want to overfill you with information. Information overload sometimes can be too much. But further your education with me, become better at trading through higher education right here at the Omni Trading Academy. Thank you, Las Vegas fans, and I will see you next Sunday. Don't forget, at all times, you need to keep your emotions out of trading. One of the best things you can do, which I teach to my Omniacs all the time, is to place a stop order first and to say this to yourselves every morning, every afternoon, every evening, and you know what that is. Stops are in. Emotions are out. Futures trading is risky and can cause substantial financial loss. We do not claim or guarantee that you will profit from the information provided.